Lisa Bentley's joining us now here at the Ford Ironman World Championship 70.3. Now, Lisa, last year was a good year for you, you here at the uh, inaugural event. Hey, tell us about it. Last year was awesome. <laughs> I'd like to repeat last year again. Um, I had a great swim and a great bike ride, which totally surprised me. I thought I'd be getting off and having to run out a five-minute deficit or something, and I was right with the lead group and uh, actually lost the race on the run, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Although I lost it to Sam McGlone, who's an awesome <laughs> runner. But, <laughs> but yeah, I had a great race, and I, I surprised myself a bit by feeling so good on, on race day. Okay, now it's three and a half weeks ago at Ironman. You didn't tell me this until today, but uh, I, I sort of felt that there was something up with you, but you got bitten by a centipede race week? Yeah, the Thursday night, so three in the morning, uh, 28 hours before the race, I woke up screaming that I'd been bitten by something under the covers, and I didn't know what it was at first. It wasn't your ugly husband, was it? It wasn't the love bug. <laughs> <laughs> and so there was like two little holes in my arm with blood coming out, and we didn't really know what it was, and we try to think that there isn't anything bad in Hawaii. Uh, lots of bad stuff in Aussie, but nothing bad in Hawaii. And you know it was a full moon that night. <laughs> yeah. And so then we, uh, about 20 minutes later, um, we, uh, we saw this six-inch centipede, and that was the culprit. And, uh, of course, at the time, all I'm thinking of is as long as I can still swim, you know, because it was making my arms swell up, I thought I'm fine. And, um, but on race day, you know, I wasn't quite a hundred percent, but that happens, you know, that's life in sport. But on the marathon, I had to stop, you know, probably over 10 times, um, with some, you know, diarrhea and just couldn't quite figure out what that was. So I'm, because I'm so careful about my eating before the race. And, uh, so we, we researched it later and, uh, found out that the Hawaiian centipede releases some neurotoxins into the body and, um, the fact that it drew blood, I guess it went right in the old bloodstream and my body doesn't like those toxins and tried <laughs> to get rid of it any way it could and uh, yeah. did so uh, on the side of the on the side of the highway. <laughs> How many legs does the centipede have? Not a hundred. It has less than a hundred actually, those nasty little legs that uh, actually they <laughs> release the venom. But you know what, I kept thinking, great, I have 102 legs, I'm going to be so fast. <laughs> How many legs does a millipede have? It's supposedly a thousand, but I don't quite believe that. <laughs> All right, well that's for uh, that's for us metric people and uh, not for you imperial people, but anyway. <laughs> okay, now bring your form down here to Hawaii, um, Clearwater now, uh, from Hawaii, and we're doing half the distance. This is, you know, 1.2 mile swim, 56 on the bike and 13 on the run. Uh, how's your form now? You know what, I think it's going to be good. You know, I don't know. I try not to make any big uh, raving calls, but I mean, I was in really good shape for Hawaii and, um, you know, it certainly didn't show on my race day performance and that's not why I'm here. I'm not here for revenge or any of that kind of nonsense. I'm here because I'm fit and I, uh, I got to use the last couple of weeks to work on some of the things that Hawaii ri reminded me of that I don't quite have, which, I, you know, I need to get out, I need to bridge that gap to that group of swimmers. I've got to get on those feet. And so I've been really, you know, I've been swimming at the swim team. That's the only thing I've been really, really working on and just getting, you know, those 50s in and the hundreds in and going at full speed. So that's what I've been working on. So I, I do feel, you know, faster in the pool, which, I mean, the clock doesn't lie. So hopefully I can, I can replicate that out there in the ocean. And then I just hope I can, you know, keep an eye on the fast girls on the bike um, and be able to ride with them, you know, and then I, you know, I know what to do on the run. I think I can get out there and run fast. Uh, but I do think there's going to be the Becky Lavals and, uh, and Julie Dibbins that are really going to set this race on fire. I don't think you're going to see the race decide to the last 5k because I do think that they will outswim us and stay ahead on the bike. And, uh, and it's a matter of, of running. That's going to be the five minute deficit. That's going to be the deficit that we all have to run down. Yep, absolutely. Okay, revenge, redemption, whatever. It doesn't really matter for Lisa Bentley because she is one of the legends of the sport of Ironman triathlon. Okay, for Lisa Bentley, I am Greg Welch.